one family was living in a house with a very small backyard. And in that yard was a shed. One day, the children saw their cat was outside trying to get under the shed in the backyard. He was too big to get into the small crawl space, but the children had noticed that he was chasing after a snake. They went to their father and they told their father about the snake, and he went out and tried to see what kind of a snake it was, but it was too dark under the shed to tell. The father decided that the snake wasn't a real danger as it was well under the shed, and, and he would watch for it in case it came back out. Well, a couple of days later, the father put the trash out on the street in the front yard. He was waiting for the garbage truck to come by and empty it. Later that afternoon, after the garbage was emptied, he went to bring the trash cans in. And as he picked one up, the snake, which had moved from under the shed, bit him on the leg. End of the story? The snake wasn't poisonous. It didn't do anything except give the man a really good scare. But it does point out that when we allow a possible danger to us or to our family to stick around, we shouldn't be surprised when it bites us. This is true spiritually as well. Things that tempt us should not be allowed to stick around in our lives. We need to remove them so that the temptation will not bite us when we're not expecting it. Remove it. Don't let it near us or near our families. May you have a blessed day.